Hey, Hawaiian Jeff here from the Jersey Shore. There's a few things about Actuate Bert that I want to show you. The appearance of tabs in a Bert report can be accomplished utilizing a couple of different features available within Actuate Bert. So here is an example of a tab report where we have a series of tabs across the top. And as I click through those tabs, different content is displayed. Let's see how we can accomplish this. So here within the report design, it doesn't seem all that complicated. And it really isn't. We simply have four tables, customers, employees, orders, and payments. You can replace those tables with any kind of BERT content that you choose. Now also at the top of this report, we have a grid. And inside this grid is our HTML buttons, one corresponding to each section of content, and also a label. So that way when we click on a button, it does that nice big label highlighting thing. Let me show you that again. Payments is currently in focus. If I click on customers, customers is currently in focus. Notice how the button disappeared. It's displaying the label here and hid the button and displayed the button for payments and hid the label. That's how we are make the appearance of a tab within this BERT report. Now the coloring and the borders and all that is stuff that you can play around with to make it look just right. I'm not going to get too deep into that during this session. Now in between each one of these tables, I put a label. That way when we export, we get a nice table header across the top that's only visible when we export. Now also when we export, we don't want our buttons and labels to go out either. So I've utilized the visibility functionality. So if I take a look at the visibility for this grid, I'm hiding this element for everything except for when I'm viewing it in the interactive viewer. And for the table labels, I'm hiding it for the interactive viewer and displaying it for everything else. I'm also utilizing this to help with page breaks. So that way I don't need to worry about that within my table itself. When I'm displaying Interactive Viewer, I don't need the page breaks, but when I'm exporting, I'd like to have them there. So let's get deeper into this. If we take a look at the scripting behind one of our HTML buttons, we'll see that we're turning things on and off through the use of the style display. That's all we're really doing, flip-flopping what's visible and what isn't. And we have three components. We have our tables, we have our labels, and we have our buttons. So on this customer's one, we're simply saying, go get this element by ID. And which element do we want? We want the customers. So that customer's table has a bookmark named customers. Now I'm using commercial BERT here, so that means that I need to prefix that bookmark with the viewer ID and an underscore. So that's what's happening here. Then I set the style display to block, which makes it visible, and set the style display on the other content, the three other tables, to none. And so they're not visible. Down in the labels, I'm going to display the customer's label and hide the customer button. Then I'm going to make sure that the labels for all the others are hidden and the buttons for all the others are displayed. And if I go to the other button scripts, it's simply the same exact script with just different things blocked and none. Now you'll notice that there's also a window tab selected equals and as I go through each one of these buttons I have that changing values as I go through and that's just simply a browser side variable that I'm setting so that way when I'm in the interactive viewer it knows which tab I'm on and 
keeps the user on that same tab. Now that scripting is a little bit more complicated, but it isn't all that difficult to figure out what's going on. So here let's take a look at our on content update. So this is executed each time you do something within the interactive viewer. So when we move something around, filter, sort, uh, add a computed column, all those fun things you can do with Interactive Viewer, it keeps us on the same tab that we've been working on and not jump us back to the beginning of the report. So in this script, we're just simply saying if we're on customers, then let's just make sure that we're displaying customers. If we're on employees, let's just make sure we're displaying employees. And that's about all there is really to this report. So if we go back to the report and enable interactivity and then jump to, let's say, orders. So I click on that tab and then sort by one of the columns. Notice that it takes me right back to orders. Without that on content update scripting, it would jump back to customers and we'd have to find our way back down to orders. So let's take a look at our report in PDF. And there you see no buttons or tabs across the top. And as we go through the report, we'll get a nice clean page break between each table. And we have a nice label across the top. Have questions, need some assistance with Actuate BERT, hit me up at one of these locations.